Hey, Ronnie Dahl, four-wheeling at westernaustralia.com and welcome to another review. This time, the HDX Light Force lights. What I think about them and pros and cons. Stay tuned. Product disclosure. Now, I'm not sponsored by Light Force and I'm not associated with Light Force. However, they did send me these two as uh, product placement and testing, and which I have done for about oh, a bit over a year now. So this will be an unbiased review, and I do apologize for my appearance. I have just returned from the Kimberley, uh, about 20 day out there, and I've been here for two days now, just doing various bits of recording and um, taking down notes and whatnot. So I'm on my last set of clothes, and I think I needed a bit of a trim. Anyway, let's get into the uh, review. So what exactly are they before we get into all the pros and cons and how to actually light up? What we have here is a ring with LEDs which provide you spread. That's on both of them. And they also have HID in the middle. So you get your distance with the HID and spread with the LED. Now the LED casts about 50 meters for probably about 40 meters of usable light. The HIDs, they're pretty damn bright and they go a fair way. Say about a kilometre, I reckon. About a kilometre, they will go down. So far enough anyway. That's my high beams. Let's turn on the flood. So that's the LEDs flooding. That 80 watt ring. This is the spotties. Now these bodies need to heat up a bit first. Hopefully you can see more from outside the vehicle. This camera is not capturing exactly what's going on. And that's with both. So you get about a kilometer's worth of the HRD in a distance. And probably, I'd say probably 750 to 800 meters usable. But how much more do you really need? give you an idea of what it's like with everything on. So right now I have both the LED ring and HRD on. Now to the roof lights. So as you can see, all the roof lights really do is light up the bonnet. Um, look, they do light up the, you know, around at the immediate sort of distance, so not very far, but it kind of hinders you more when you're, when you're driving at a fast speed. And at slow speed, they're good, but I don't use them on the highway or the roads. These lights that I have on the front are significant enough for that, as you can see. How much difference does that really make? Not much. Roof lights only, as you can see, they don't do much. You need the other lights on. Now you get an idea of what they're like out on the road. Find a campsite and it is very bloody dark and very tight. Not, not even a moon up, it's a new moon at the moment. So right now all I'm running is my high beams and my headlights, which you can see now. That's all I've got. Oh, there's a tree there. Some light bars. So I'll put the roof ones on, so it lights up quite a bit. These are really awesome for the bush. But when you look at, um, that's the HDX, it's only the um, LEDs are on. And it gives me plenty of light. And if I put the roof lights on, it just it gives me more spread, but I could do it without them. I could honestly do it without them. And I only use these lights in a situation like this, in the bush. All right, so now you have a bit of an idea of how much they light up and how far they spread and whatnot. Uh, with highway and in the bush. Now, as I mentioned, I do have my LED lights on the roof. And as I said, I only use those when I'm at slow pace driving in the bush be because these are more than enough on the highway. They won't help you, but these do everything on the highway. So excellent highway kind of lights, but you will need some more light if you're going slow bushwork and you want to see a bit more because you need light up high, in my opinion. Now to pros and cons. And the first one 
can be a pro and a con at the same time. And that is the price. They are sort of the upmarket lights. They are more expensive. There's a lot of cheap stuff out there. You do pay for what you get. And that said, with the price, depending on how you look at it, you're actually getting two lights in one. So it's probably not that bad in the overall scheme of things. So let's talk about a pro. You have spread and beam in one light and you can switch between. So you don't have to have both on at the same time. When you're on the highway and you've got a vehicle about 500 meters in front of you, you can get away with using the ring. Well, I do anyway. And it doesn't seem to bother the vehicles in front. And I've asked them my convoys as well. The, the HID, of course, you can't have that on if there's anyone in front of you at all because they will go so far and they're so bright. Now, there is a con with the spread as well. The spread is compromised because it's a combination light. So obviously, it's 80 watts of spread and there are plenty of other lights out there that provide massive spread. You know, they're just all LEDs, but they don't have any distance beam. So that's where the compromise is. You can, of course, get better spread, but if you're not too fussed about having ultra spread, which can actually be, be too bright sometimes, then these are actually sufficient. Another thing I might note as well, now I haven't had this issue, but I will mention it. Um, a couple of my four-wheeling mates who have the same kind of lights on a different bar. Now, I don't know if it's because they mounted them a bit differently or whatnot, but they reckon they get a lot of vibration on corrugations. I get none at all. So, but what they have done is they've added the bracket to the top hoop and then down. Now, I believe it's on those bull bars with maybe one of those welded pieces on. It may cause a bit more vibration, but on this bar with a mounted flat, I have no problem with that. So just keep that in mind. Rightio, that's about all I can say about these lights. I'd like to know your thoughts. Now, I guess the question is, am I going to stick with these or am I going to change them? Look, if I change them, it's only to try something different, something new. I get offered loads of lights all the time and I've been rejecting because I'm really happy with these. But I may try something new just to experience something different and then I can give you guys another honest review on some different lights. So we'll see if that happens. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. You can subscribe right here and you can support the creation of these kind of videos at patreon.com slash Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.